Hi, alien. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Guys, <clears throat> new tweet. Go like it so everybody knows that I'm alive. refollows but then you can't chat people have done that during the stream and then they can't chat it's so dumb also hi tooth can we get some yos hello the only people who can dodge the non-follower chat are subscribers Uh, guys, who's excited for stream? Type 1. I'm a pleb once again. Maybe you'll get lucky and get a gifted this month. It is September. By the way, guys, subscribe right now. And you should get a discount if it's your first time subscribing to the channel. And if you have faith, trust, and pixie dust that I won't quit streaming in the next year, if you subscribe for longer, 3, 6 months, 9 to a year, you get a discount as well. <laughs> You want me to run more ads? Is that why you're typing exclamation point A? <laughs> I can, no, actually, you can only run ads every 15 minutes. So I can't run another ad. Sag. Talking about ads, no. I don't got nothing else to say about that. Also, my mic is like a six inch, it's a foot away from me versus like eight inches, so it might be a bit muffled today. <laughs> what if I watch you on a Neuralink? I bet they'd give you double ads. Face came on in 10 seconds. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> just kidding oh wait why is that there <laughs> uh okay that didn't leak anything but i forgot it captures that okay <laughs> okay because <laughs> i have to capture the this scene for music. Okay, wait, I can fix this. I can fix this. I forgot. I... It's because for this VTuber, I don't have a background. Okay, color source. I still want to be in the void. Oh my god, that's so funny. Wow. Ain't no way. 
Thank you for the prime resub. 27 months? Holy moly. Can we get some wax in chat? Thank you, man. Okay, why isn't anything showing on screen now? Hi, Meg. We're drawing you today. Wait, literally, where where's Chant? Oh, I'm moving the wrong color source. Okay. Okay, there it is. I fixed it. Okay, we're good now. Oh, there was a... I already had a black box here. I just had it on the wrong layer. Okay, now we're good. Yeah, I fixed it now. No more leaks. No more leaks. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm supposed to be in the void. It's my VTuber. Peace I2 Gold. Put it in chat. But thank you, Mac, for the resub. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Boys, the plan is simple. Today, we're updating the follower journal for August. And then we're drawing top gifters from the month of August. And also a special drawing for the top gifter of the subathon. Hi, Kim. Talking about Top Gifter. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. So, I gained about 20 to 30 followers during the month of August. But then, like, 20 people unfollowed. <laughs> so, <laughs> we only got, like, five, six names to write today. So, today's stream will primarily be drawing. Now, just for pure transparency's sake, I'm going to be drawing a little bit differently today. Um... Yes, you can see my hand. I also put on my big light, so there will be a, a cast shadow here. But for today, I will need more light. Getting follows but losing pounds. <laughs> Wait, is it correlated? I weighed myself the other day, and I have lost two more pounds. I think I'm literally two pounds away from losing 20 for the calendar year. Almost done with that resolution. <laughs> I've grown to love salt and vinegar chips. I feel like that's a dog whistle for something. Is it? Is it? I can make a craft for that. <laughs> Wait, pounds lost for the year? <laughs> okay. I don't think I need that. Oh, wait, there's no music. Vlad Watchers, of course you don't have music, but I want the live viewers to have music. I haven't used the art POV scene in a while, because I usually... I'll just do the calligraphy scene. There we go. No leaks. No leaks. Okay, now we're good. Guys, I'm a pro streamer type 1. Please nominate me for Hidden Gem this year. We need it. Okay. So, just to explain at the start, I do have permission to show these pictures on stream, okay? I have permission. So... I have my two sketch cards, but this time, because I'm practicing, I drew them digitally. So we have Max card and then Kim's card. So I really got Kim's in chat now. Because the idea I had for Kim's card, Mac is just a normal card. I'm going to make it kind of meaty. Because Mac, I'm trying to be nice, but you kind of have a big forehead. And in the picture, it was shiny. So I drew like a little glimmer. It's, it's softer because I used a pencil when I was drawing this. And then, so yours will be kind of meme -y. And then Kim's, she sent me pictures of her sitting in front of a fountain. And it looks just like the Animal Crossing fountain. So I drew digitally Kim as an Animal Crossing character sitting on a fountain. So since I drew these digitally, what I'm going to do is, where did I put it? I have a... I have a light box. So what I'm gonna do is obviously I drew it digitally. So I'm gonna trace it onto paper, just straight inks with the light box. And then for the top gifter for the subathon, also high squirt, welcome in. Can we get some yes? Um for the drawing for the top gifter, I have permission to show these pictures on stream. It I won't be drawing it, I'll be tracing it, because the focus for this illustration will more be practicing grays and blacks and line art. So I will be tracing the actual photo, which this is, it's debated in the art scene if you can trace or not trace photos. I think it's fine to trace a photo as long as you have permission or um, 
you're trying to go for like a really accurate rendering. And then I also posterize the picture in Photoshop. You can see it has more like like five grays in it. That way we can like accurately shade when we actually use the inks. Cause only for the four by six illustration I'll be using inks. Everything else will be normal microns and color pencil. Yeah, so that's the plan for today. But of course we gotta start with Everybody who followed during the month of August. My heart, I'm going to cry. I wasn't reading chat during that little explanation, but yeah. I immediately saw the the fountain. I was like, that dead ass looks like... <laughs> I'm deleting that. <laughs> I'm deleting that just because I feel like Twitch would consider that harassment. <laughs> Twitch staff, they're dating. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's the plan. But first, we gotta do follower names. Like I said, I gained like 20 followers during the month of August. August was a good month. I streamed 80 hours. But I also lost like 20 followers. L. Okay, as normal, prediction time. Like I said, there's only like five or six names, so if I mess one up, it'll be very sad. Let's keep it open for two minutes. Guys, go Gamba. Do you think it will mess up any of the six names I'm writing today? Why do people unfollow, though? Um, I could see why. It's because, like, my channel's variety, so, like, if somebody follows for Mario Kart, and then I only stream it twice a month, they might get sad. I will mess up all six. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Oh, wait, I lied. I actually have 12 names to write. I miscounted. Wait, no. One, two, three, four. I, there's 10 names. I miscounted earlier. There's 10. I have faith, trust, and pixie dust that I won't mess up any. And yes, this is right here is my Alienware M17 hashtag not sponsored. Okay, I'm locking in. So, oh, also, I didn't stream yesterday because I was resting. But if you follow my Twitter, you know what's up. Because on days that I consider rest days, and I will only tweet out if I'm taking a rest day, if I said I was going to stream on a day, and then I don't, is, dude, my hand yesterday was fucked up. I woke up, and it, it was, like, twitching. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> uh so i was like shit like my left hand was fine but i was like shit i cannot draw if my right hand is fucked i don't know what it was i think i just slept funny because i woke up fine today um so that's why i didn't stream but i could use my left hand so yesterday i played like four hours of poker rogue off and on throughout the day and i got if you follow my twitter you know i got to level 120 it was an insane run like i said starting in november I will commit to streaming every day, playing Poker Rogue every day until I win. Now, I'm debating if I will make like a new save or like a new account because even if you use the same account, it still saves all your Pokemon that you catch. And I think it would be a lot more interesting if I just made a new account. That way I can like start from scratch because on my current save, I have two shinies. Two, both of which I got from eggs. Dude, I did us thought I messed up already, but I didn't. Um. But. And then I've encountered two shinies in the wild. I encountered a shiny Zigzagoon and then a shiny Gyarados. But the Zigzagoon I accidentally killed because it was literally like the fifth Pokemon and my Meowth was too strong. So it went hit KO'd. And then the Gyarados I saw last night. But I didn't have any Pokeballs because it was on like level 100. And at that point, I'm not catching Pokemon. But I was really upset because if you play Poker Rogue, then you know the more Shinies you have on your team, the more luck and the better items you get. There are also different Shiny colors. Yeah, I have a Shiny little Rock guy and I got two different skins for it. But it doesn't matter what color you pick because it's the same luck chance.
Yeah, so yesterday I just, I played Poker Rogue and then I drew a little bit. We talked about this on Saturday, but the theme for September will be Shape Up September. So that'll be starting later this week. I don't know what day because I said we would do normal games and then fitness games alternating, but then I thought about it. In order for me to play a fitness game on stream, I would need to clear out like this entire corner of my room. Because obviously when you're doing fitness, you need space to like move around. So the next stream you see for me will probably be a fitness stream. And we'll do that until like uh, September 12th to 14th. No, the 13th or the 14th, Saturday or Sunday when I'm doing the cycle bit -a -thon. I said I was going to run a poll on Twitter, but peace of mind people cried. I'm just going to do it with bits instead of subs because it objectively makes more sense. Because for that cycle stream, I'm going to set up a green screen. And then also remind me, remind me sometime this week or next week to post on Twitter. Because you guys, I think it'd be funny if you guys submitted background pictures for me to use. As long as they're appropriate, I think that'd be kind of fun. Because I don't know how long that stream will last, but we'll try and change the background image like every five to ten minutes. Ah. But I have been buying a bunch of fitness Wii games. I have like five. I think the funniest one I bought was a... Was a Tony Hawk snowboarding one for the Wii Fit Board. Wait, shit, I forgot. I have to buy, like, snow gear. Will that be in my budget? Because, you know, anytime you go to the thrift store, they always got snow gear. Okay, Marceline's name is hard for me to spell. My background is just blank. So you're also in the void. Snow gear? Are you going to ski in Hawaii? Actually, there are some mountains that do have snow in some areas of Hawaii. It is true. Not every mountain in Hawaii is a volcano. Wait, this is like a Ludwig song. Doo -doo. Doo. I didn't mess up Marceline's name, W. Also, um, if you see me, like, lean over the table, I am wearing a tan tank top, so no, I am not <laughs> wearing nothing, just to clarify. <laughs> I didn't do my laundry, so I ran out of a black tank, so I am wearing, just to see the color, I am wearing a tan tank top, so if you see that, that is not my skin, that is my tank top. But I think I angled my camera to where you won't see my... My what you call it. My body. Because I am a VTuber. You're supposed to assume that I'm not real. Stinky. No, I don't re-wear my clothes. I don't do that. There's, like, you know people who do side A, side B? I think that is disgusting. But I will usually... I'm pretty good about laundry. Like, washing towels and stuff. Because everybody uses towels. But my own clothes, I will stall as long as I need to. Like, I have a lot of clothes, but, like, I don't wear them often. I do side C and D, bro. That needs to stop. <laughs> How do you have a girlfriend and not me? Like, what's going on? <laughs> People who wipe their noses on their shirts are gross? Okay. I will not confirm nor deny. But if my nose is, like, greasy, some 
Okay, this is only one of my home. Why am I self-exposing? Or exposing myself. If I'm, like, at home and my nose is greasy, sometimes I'll wipe it on my shirt. But I will never wipe my nose if it's snotty. She's calling me out. No, guys, don't fight. Don't fight. Or at least save that for your Discord calls, not in the Twitch chat. I'm not, like, equipped to handle this. This sounds like Undertale. But I know it's not, because this is a me music compilation. No, I'm, I'm gonna have to say it. If you wipe your nose on your shirt when it's snotty, that is a red flag. This isn't fighting. Yeah, I know I'm joking. I'm joking as well. Okay. I can see the text here on the crop and that's bothering me. I'm fixing that real quick. There we go. Nope. Still a tad. I fixed it. Guys, nominate peace and freedom, Jim. We need it. Are you packed up for your trip? Girl, that's not till October. <laughs> what psycho packs for their trip a month in advance? I'm sorry. Like, I, I need those clothes before I go. <laughs> oh, wait, you probably don't know that I'm going in October. We're going in October. <laughs> you don't pack three months in advance? No. <laughs> no. I do? Okay, that's another red flag. Do you have that much clothes to where you cannot wear something for a month? I'm already packed for new my New Year's trip. You're lying. You're lying. Nah, when we go to Hawaii, we're only staying for like two and a half days. So we're not we're not taking suitcases because they charge. So we're just gonna bring backpacks. I packed the day before, same. Same. I don't make a list or anything, I just throw shit in the suitcase. More often than not, I overpack. Like, when I went to Japan back in 2018, I packed so many cute clothes that I never wore. I can do laundry every two months. How much disposable income do you have to where you have enough clothes? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's, that's crazy. At least you got enough clothes to not have to side B anything. You know, I got lucky and I gaslit everybody into giving me the master bedroom and I have like a, it's a very small walk-in closet and it's barely filled. I have old clothes from high school. Oh, that makes sense. When I had to move two years ago, I got rid of a lot of clothes, so. Kim smells so bad she came over with cut rusty clothes. That makes sense for a Twitch viewer, I'll be honest. Wait, so, Kim, that means when you moved, you kept all your clothes? That's silly. Your mother didn't say I smelled. Ew. She moved so much since high school? That's what I'm saying. Like, you 
You brought all those clothes with you everywhere? I moved my whole life to LA. Wait, are you an influencer secretly? Wait, can we collab? That's the only reason why people move to LA, right? For clout? I don't think I would ever. Honestly, Pacific Northwest is where it's at. I, I legit don't ever want to leave. If anything, I would move to Seattle. But Seattle expenses are as seen expensive as heck. But let's be honest, it's expensive to live anywhere nowadays. So you might as well like live close to your friends or work. Which, if I do become a popular streamer, then I can work anywhere. Okay, this person's name will not fit because it's long. It was Miss Rainbow Sprinkles. That three is literally perfect. You know what else would be perfect? Following my channel. Because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you never click that follow button, you get cool emotes and you get to type a chat. Isn't that pretty sick? Also, for today only, if you follow, I'll write your name right now. Unless it's like a slur, then I can't do that. Sorry. The final two names, everybody. Will I mess it up? The only thing I'm kind of concerned about doing the Wii Fit on stream is obviously it weighs you. <laughs> so, and wait, shit, where, where is my Wii board? I think it's downstairs. It's been a while since we've used the Wii Fit board. I know I'm not the weight limit. But I'm, I'm really scared of the do 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 whenever you're like obese, which I am. I know I am, but that's fine. But I am down 18 pounds this year. I don't want you guys doing the math, though. You can switch the screen. I was thinking about doing that. But then I also, I kind of want to do a YouTube video where it's like, I play a Wii Fit every day for a week. This is what happened. Or this is what changed. I think that's a good enough video. But then I feel like in order for that to like work, I need to show my weight. But I'm, okay. We don't need to know. Do you guys want to know? I'm fine with sharing. Because the scale that we have at home is wrong. It's two pounds off. Because whenever I go to the doctor, it's different than what it is at home. No, I'm okay. Okay, no. You guys are real ones. I th that was a test to see if anybody did see us. That was a test. You guys passed. Okay, final name. But either way, I'll probably have to show it on stream. But I don't care. I I think I'm fine now. Cause I'm pat I'm below two hundred now, so that's a dub. Cause I've only shown my full body once, online, and that was like a Twitch story photo, but never on stream. It's not that like I don't like how I look. It's just I don't look good in many angles. <laughs> but. Like, how do, how do I say this? I like other people with my body type. And maybe cause, that's because, like, I'm a narcissist. It's because, like, I'm in between a pear and an apple body shape. 
Like, I don't have a a pair. Because my ass isn't too wide. And I don't have an apple because my, my legs are thicker. I need... Okay. Okay. Should we ban Kim for that? Did No, you, you did not see my feet. I only accidentally showed it. Okay, I'm deleting that. Kim, don't make jokes like that. Don't. I'm not into people who are my body type. Let's chill. I personally... I will like... I like some pork with the tops of my pork. What? <laughs> what? I'm not gonna dissect that. We're just gonna let that sit there. Anyway, there we go. That's our last name for the month of August. We had 10 people follow and stay followed. Everybody else who unfollowed is a dumb ass jerk. I'll say it. But feel free to screenshot if you see your name. And I'll post these on Twitter if I have enough to make a post. But thank you to everybody who joined the channel in the month of August. We hope to see you in chat. Did anybody chat? I remember seeing... I think I've seen this name on TikTok. This might be a TikTok user. Oh, Dawn is chatted. Marceline is chatted. I don't recognize the other names. But thank you to those who followed. I appreciate you. Okay, now for the hard part. Already stalled long enough. That should not have taken 20 minutes. Do, do, do. Okay. Should, okay, chat. Since we have Kim and Mac in chat, do you guys want the sketch cards or the ink drawing first? What do you want? Because I assume y'all are working. I'm down to do either first. Mm hmm did everyone give a photo? We only had uh, you two submit photos in time. Ink? Okay, we'll do that first. I was thinking that too. Because uh, I want that to dry a bit. You guys are both off today? W. Wait, are you guys on a date? Ah. Everyone's whack? Well, some people don't want a card. I think Vic said they might get a card next month. But they just didn't want one this month. I was like, okay. Oh, you got off work already? Cool. Okay, this is not a hashtag ad. But this is one of the best tracing boxes I've ever had. I don't know what the brand is. I don't have the box. <laughs> but it's really nice. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to trace the images on stream today is because this is how or the partial workflow for the upcoming illustrations that will be available this week on the art website. Because I still will draw traditionally, but then I will render, I will get like a finer line art in my drawing software. And then I will trace onto watercolor paper. So this is a kind of similar process to that. What's a tracing box? So a tracing box is a light box. It's also a tracing box, light box. It's where it has a light source. It's kind of like, have you ever traced a picture like on your window in school? It's kind of like that, but it's just an LED box, plastic box. They have glass ones where you put your image underneath. Oh, that looks wild on camera. I don't know why it's so blue. 
You put your image underneath your drawing paper on top. You see how you can see through it? And then you just trace as normal. See, this is what it looks like if you don't have any light source underneath your drawing paper. And then you can see it a bit better. My mom had a light box, but it was dented. So it was very hard to trace on it. Okay, so since I'm tracing the picture, controversial, but I'm tracing the picture, I will just go straight to pens. So for line art, I'm still going to do microns because I don't have a fine brush dedicated for Indian inks yet. I just have a medium tip. The day we took the photo was so fun. You want to give a little story time. Also, for this drawing, I will be putting a half an inch border on it. That way, if you guys want to write like a little caption or something, you guys can. And I will be able to mail this out to Kim. Because I have proper sized envelopes now. That's why it this this drawing will be four by six, but with the border, it'll be five by seven. I took Kim to New York for the first time, and we took that photo when we went to Central Park. Aw, cute. Cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go start off with the regular liner with a number three micron. Oh, I should tape this in place. I have a frame for that picture. Oh, that's cute. Another good thing about having a border is so you can tape it down so it doesn't move. <clears throat> gates taped down also I got a paper cutter that has like a machete blade that you go Jum! and it was advertised as being able to cut like 10 sheets at once so my dumbass put 10 sheets of watercolor paper down and tried to cut it and it didn't work and I jammed it because obviously watercolor is thicker than copy paper so I wasted 10 fucking sheets of watercolor paper the other day. <laughs> so it can only cut like three sheets of watercolor paper, but like 10 sheets of copy paper. <laughs> you know, so stupid. So now, because I was cutting five by sevens, which is basically right down the middle of an eight and a half by 11. So I was like, fuck. So for 10 sheets of my watercolor paper, I got a hundred packs, so it's fine. I'll have to make smaller shit. <laughs> we found a machete in the garage at work and my coworker took it home. Uh, keep an eye on them. I feel like the music is kind of low. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, I'm locking in. Going in with a number three micron. Like I said, I'm tracing parts of the picture. picture. How do I make it brighter? Yeah, this light box has only one setting, but that's okay. I had my old one had white and then yellow light. Oh wait, you know what? Turning off my ring lights will help. Oh, yeah, that helps a lot. Okay, I turned on. All right, I kept my ring lights on, but I turned off my bedroom light because obviously if there's less light over top, it's less light reflecting off the white paper. Is the glass one better? Uh, honestly, no. They're usually like five to 20 bucks more. It's not really worth it. 
Like this one I think was like 15 bucks and it's just plastic and it works fine. I think a glass one, I never had a glass one, but I feel like it would get scratched a lot more easily than a plastic one. But the one demerit to this one, since it's just plastic, when I press down, it kind of like bubbles a little bit, I guess. Yeah, knowing me, I would crack that shit. Hot take, I love candy corn. That's fine. That's fine. For this one, I'm going to try and do broken line art. So instead of just doing like a line that's straight like this, oh, you can't see it. I'll do like, I'll break it up like this. I'm going to try and do broken line art. I'm gonna have to draw in a lot of the facial detail by hand because since the watercolor paper is coarse it kind of distorts the image underneath that's okay so since I'm going for a broken line art look I'm not hard pressing on the paper and just carefully gliding the pen across the top so like the breaks look intentional. Because the liner is obviously more of a guide, but... Blocking out the haters, you should just block them straight up. What's the worst that could happen, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've bought anything from Teddy Fresh. I think it's because I unfollow their Twitter. Would you ever commission ink paintings? I've considered. But on Shopify, there's no integrated UI for users to submit comments or pictures whenever they place an order. So it would require me to like do emails. And I'll be honest, I fucking hate emailing. And if I open up commissions, obviously it would be to people I don't know. And it leads to so much trouble. Like, it'd be, like, it's fine if it's from people I quote unquote know or who have ordered before us, so like you two. I know it would be easy. But if it's from, like, a rando who finds me on TikTok, it's probably going to be frustrating as shit. I don't like emails either. Yeah, fuck them. That's why, like, for now. Because, uh, I need to talk and work. I need to talk and work. Um, because a big problem that I I see whenever people do primarily commission is that it's hard to develop your own style if you're only doing things that other people want. So I think for my first two years of operation, so up until summer next year, or spring next year, I just want to make my own shit. Like, art that I like. And then, go from there. Because in the more, like, professional art scene, commission is how artists get by. 
Like, if a hotel commissions you to make a $5,000 painting, you fucking do it. Because while I'm still young, I'd rather focus on making art that I like than capitulating to demands of people who might not necessarily like my art for what it is. I love showing your art to my coworkers. Thank you. I appreciate that. Which pieces do you have up in your cubicle? I feel like every single queer artist has released, like, how do I say, <laughs> has released artwork that has, like, boobies in it. <laughs> and, like, I've thought about it, but then it's, like, trendy, so I'm like, nah, I shouldn't. Like, you know, every single queer person has some type of, like, booby artwork. <laughs> I have all the stamps hung up at work. Oh, cute. The paintings at my apartment? Yeah, somebody would cop that shit. I hate that type of art. I think it's cool. Wait, are you saying that you hate women? Get them. Get them. I have some of that artwork hanging in my house. See, I clocked you so easily. What's the plan for your week? This week? Uh, I said this already, but I'm starting therapy tomorrow again. I don't know. It's been like... Because I unenrolled December of 22. So like literally right after we moved. And I told my counselor, I was like, you know, I've learned a lot the past six months. And I kind of want to try and navigate things on my own. And I'm not necessarily, like, struggling right now. It's just, like, it's it's good for me to re-enroll. It's been two years. Just because, like, I feel like I'm doing fine. But I understand there are some things in my life that aren't up to expectation. Am I going to do it in person? I'm debating. I'm debating. Because I was previously in a counseling program. It was just normal talk therapy. I wasn't in any, like, specialized, like, trauma treatment, which... I may or may not be considering. <laughs> there, there is some shit that you guys will never know about me. But let me just say, it probably would need more vigorous counseling. So I was like, shit. Because in the past, I only did uh, talk, and that was like on the phone. And I, I've been reading a lot of like anecdotal things about therapy and like lived experience of those who are either like, confirmed on the spectrum or questioning or self-diagnosed and like i experience a lot of symptoms so i'm just like hmm maybe i wasn't as truthful in my initial counseling because oh i didn't end the prediction did i mess up any names no sir screw the doubters um because a common occurrence that will happen in individuals who have asd or autism is they will perform during their therapy sessions or say the correct answer. So even if you know, like if your counselor asks you like, hey, I know you had a, um, a let's say emotional response to this event, what did you do? Individuals might lie and say like, oh, I did the correct thing to manage my feelings versus sharing what either actually happened or not actually vocal, vocal, vocalizing what they felt in that moment. And I was like, shit, I feel like I did that a lot. Because the previous counselor I had, she was really nice. She was also disabled. 
and she was the one who primarily encouraged me to uh, try and get government resources but I think I related to her too much I think I needed an individual who does not have any of my lived experience But anyway, so that'll be this week. <laughs> and also, I just want to say, if you are able to get counseling, even if you feel like you are mentally well, I feel like you should. Because you will always learn something from it. And even though there is a shortage of mental health professionals in the country, just because there's so many people who need that type of help, don't let that set you back from it. There are always emergency resources you can access. But if you have the opportunity to take it, or if it's like included in your Medicaid, or sorry, not Medicaid, if it's included in your insurance plan, do it. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. You know, I like to think that I, I'm an advocate. And you kind of have to be. I have to get my own insurance this month. I'm going to throw up. Oh, is it because you turned 25? You know, the thing I love about being a brokey. Here, let's get a little update on the line art so far. I'm taking a lot of time on this because I don't want it to look too fucked up. You see, I'm combining thick solid lines and then kind of broken lines. 26? Wait, you're old. You're old. Hashtag not sponsored night, key swoosh. Okay, I don't know anything about sports. I look like a potato. No, it's because there's no shading. It's because there's no shading. Just you wait. I turn 26 next year. Oh, yeah. I was I was on my parents' medical insurance, but that's because we were all on Medicaid. So once I became an adult, I, like, literally the moment I turned 18, I was on my own insurance plan because I didn't want my parents to, like, have any influence on what I tried to get. And I'm lucky because I'm still able to be on Medicaid because Medicaid is for individuals who make um, low income. And obviously, I'm a brokey and I'm disabled. So even if I get over the income threshold, I can probably still get on Medicare, which is for individuals who are elderly or disabled. Medicaid is for brokies. Medicare is for disabled and elderly. Big difference. Anyway, so like I've never had to choose a medical insurance plan, but I had to help my sister choose one because she missed the opt-in period for her work insurance. So like I kind of have an idea of what programs are available in my state. And to be frank, Washington makes it really easy to get set up with Medicaid or any type of medical insurance. Honestly, W Washington. I never want to leave here. We care for our elders. That's how I remember it. Oh, Medicare, care for elders. Okay, that makes sense. Man, I love tracing. Tracing is so much fun. <laughs> the photo is flipped because it's a selfie, but I feel like that looks pretty good. I love tracing. 
Okay. Controversial. There's this one person. I don't know their name. So don't seek them out. But they sell, like, portraits on Etsy. And it's literally them making, like, vector traced silhouette side profiles. Now that's fine. But it's literally just a black and white silhouette. Where they trace the picture. I still consider that art. But they're not adding anything to the tracing. They're not shading it. It's just solid black and white film. I've seen those. And they're all middle-aged white women. All of them. I can understand, like, simple art style is good. I personally love simple, but... You have to transform it in some way. Who just got an iPad? Yeah, they just learned Procreate. <laughs> See, I think this is fine, because, like, I'm adding texture. But you know what? I do have an art degree. I'm not, like, some bimbo trying to just make monies. That way I can, like, escape my husband. Sorry, that was mean. Uh, cut that out, please. <laughs> Get the bag if you need to, but if you're gonna promote yourself as an artist, like, make some good shit. Do I make good shit, type one? Okay, I'm gonna do max hair untraced. Also, their eyes. I can't see the eye details because the texture of the paper. I'm gonna trace it in pencil. No, clippers! I'm doing pencil here because I'm scared. I don't want to commit to inking. Do, do, do. Now, I'm not saying this to be, like, flirty, but I think Max's eyes are cool. I like a hooded eye. Because I think a hooded eye looks kinder. I'm being flirted with- No! <laughs> Say you marry someone who can't eat gluten. Would you feed them gluten when you're mad at them? No, because then that's abuse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just saying it how it is. I'm just going to let that sit there. Are you asking the AMA thing, Kim, like, for a friend, like, genuinely? No, but if somebody does that shit, where they do that knowing you're allergic, that's, like, legit abuse. Okay, now let's start on Kim. We'll do Max hair later. Oh, wait, I gotta do Max ears. I didn't see him. <laughs> for a friend uh you should be like hey friend don't do that shit you're being very mean to your your partner i think you need to do some self-evaluating end quote okay now for kim Let's see. Oh, Kim has got this like office y shirt, but the way it's sewn or the fabric, you can see the lines on it. It's for real a friend though. Kim knows somebody who's doing that. Bro. If I found out one of my friends was doing, was doing that, I would contemplate and think about, would they do fucked up things to me? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I know you're wearing a jersey Mac, but Kim is wearing like an office shirt. 
and it's got that thick weave in it so you can see the lines. I'm going to do very thin line art. Or very light, not thin. Office shirt? No, it's what it is! You know what else? It is time for an ad. Because guys, we're an hour into stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing. It is September, so if you've never subscribed before, 30% off. If you want to extend your subscription for three, six, nine months, or a year, it's discounted as well. So if you have faith and trust in my channel, subscribe for longer and save. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Wait, this is legitimately taking me so long. It's been 30 minutes. This just shows that I'm committed. I'm locked in. I'm drawing the crease lines for the shirt because since Mac's shirt is very dark, you would see the shadows more in the light shirt. I'm sorry, but saying Central Park is your favorite part of the city is so basic. As somebody who's never been to New York. <laughs> Okay, I gotta focus for the glasses. Good morning. I fucked up. I fucked up, but it's not the real me. But I fixed it. <sighs> Ain't no way! Sorry, I missed the sub. I was locked in. <laughs> Thank you for the reason, Ryan. 11 months? Thank you. Can we get some wines? So close to a triple sunflower. Thank you, Ryan. We saw your face? Oh no. It's like the new Twitch function. They just leak your face. Although allegedly they disabled that UI function, thank god. You know, everybody's ragging on Twitch for releasing quote-unquote useless things. But at least they're trying. You know, I, I kind of believe that no matter what you do, people will give you shit. So just 
do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, the glasses are kind of cooked, but oh well. Have I ever played Kingdom Hearts on stream? Not on stream or offline either. I never grew up playing them, so I don't have the nostalgia. I'd be down to play it, though. There's so many games I haven't played because I'm a brokey and I grew up a brokey. I'm going to do the eyes and pencil first. Just gotta watch out for the copyright music. No! No! I'm almost done with the baseline art. There's little buckles. I assume that's like a fanny pack type thing. Hi, Emerald. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Wait, Emerald, we wrote your name earlier. Since you followed during August. Wait, where is it? Oh, wait, no, you followed during July. Peace and light, people cried. <laughs> uh... No, August 12th. Where is it? He did follow in August. I know I wrote her name today. Oh, right. I literally was looking at it right here. Thank you for following during August, hon. I was here. Oh, okay, cute. Thank you for lurking. I hope you're doing well today. Okay. Most of the line art is done. I think for the background, I'm just going to do, like, different shades of gray. I'm not going to do any line art for it because I don't want that to be the focus. I'm just going to pencil in the hair silhouettes and then we'll do it in the actual ink whenever I take it off the light box. Thank you. 
I got us the main line art. So I think I'm done with the light box for now. Oh, it's so dark now. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Okay, I think I'm just going to trace the border. I'm not going to pin in the border. It's just an indicator of where I should stop coloring in. And I don't want the border for this to be entirely clean. I kind of want it to be uneven. So whenever I do fill in with the lighter grays, it's fine if it's not a perfect border. Oops, I dropped a pen. Because I simultaneously like the look of things that are super clean, and then I like things that are uneven. I know my eyes had to adjust you, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Cool. Why I drop? Okay. I'm back. <laughs> I leave for 30 seconds and you guys start flirting. Should I just not be on camera? No, you know, I'll say it, VTubers. No, wait, I won't say it. <laughs> Some VTubers. Their models are pretty nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to keep the rough here so I can look at it. So I penciled in the eyes just because those are scary. Did you go straight from Lantern? So now... If you don't mind me asking, Mac, are you wearing makeup in this picture? Because your lashes are really long. I'm jealous. Okay, going back in with a number three. I think I want to line in the hair details. Those are my naturals. Damn. They are long. I think it's so unfair how guys naturally have longer lashes. It's so unfair. Apparently it's a survival thing. 
Because, like, it would keep more dirt out of their eyes when men would go hunting. Allegedly. But why can't I? I feel like my lashes aren't too long, but they're, like, thicker near the edges. Yeah, how could I forget your signature hoops, Kim? I would never. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, that is the right way. I know the way. The reason why I'm lining in the hair is because I still want this to be kind of illustrative. I don't want it to be too realistic because I'll be honest, I'm not good at realism. Oh, I need a band-aid. I'm already getting a blister here. I'll be right back. Should I get a Hello Kitty band-aid? I got the gayest one. Now, it's like standard to wear gloves when you draw. Oh, that was stuck on there. But I don't, because I don't like the feeling of it on my hand as much. And I usually only get cramps on this finger. So I usually just put a band-aid on it, because it's where my pen rests. But it's good to wear gloves if you're doing any type of art for long periods of time. Because when you grip, this is not how your joints are supposed to be normally. Like, you're supposed to, like, loosely hold things. When you draw, you kind of, like, extend your joint the wrong way. So if you're experiencing cramps and you're drawing, get gloves. Or learn how to grip your tools not super tight. Or you can get, um, if you paint a lot, you can get... Um, I don't know how to say, but brushes that are, like, thicker, like the actual handle. It's kind of like how in kindergarten, how they give you big-ass pencils. Just get big-ass brush handles, and it will ease with ha any hand cramping you have. My mom tried to fix the way I held a pencil in kindergarten, but I never changed. Same. I also hold chopsticks wrong, too. Because I'm going to use paintbrushes to demonstrate. You're supposed to hold it on your middle finger. But I hold it on my ring. Because if you hold it on your, your middle, you're supposed to manipulate the top with your, your pointer finger. Like this. But if you do it on your ring finger, you can... Min Wait, it's harder because these aren't chopsticks. <laughs> You can manipulate with your ring and your pointer finger. And you can get so much ac more accurate if you rest your second chopstick on your ring finger. So that's why I also held pencils the wrong way too. Because you're supposed to hold it on your middle. But I hold it on my ring. Apparently more creatives will hold utensils on their 
ring fingers for that reason. But I didn't learn that until I was an adult and started using the internet. But also, just to clarify, there's no right or wrong way to hold it, whatever is easiest on your body. I'm now realizing this could take all day. No, it won't take all day. This will probably take me like two, three hours. Because I think Kim gifted 16 subs last month, so that's worth. In terms of how much Kim paid. 16 times 6. Yeah, that's worth four hours of labor. About. But in terms of my cut? Oh, only two. <laughs> Obviously can't share my sub split, but. That looks pretty good. Look at this shit. That came out nice. This part is kind of weird, but oh well. It won't be as noticeable once it's colored. filled in, not properly colored. Love it, thank you. Man, I'm so excited for the new Mario Party game. I'm genuinely so excited. I'm trying to avoid the trailers. I did... Obviously, Nintendo's posting, like, sneak peeks and trailers of it. I did see that they're adding Pauline. Holy moly. But I haven't seen anything besides, like, the thumbnail for that trailer. I don't know if I'll be able to get the game right when it launches. Because it launches mid-October, right? My sister, she, she said she we might buy it. Because she does want to play it. That looks pretty damn good. Now for the eyes, the scary part. So cute. I wonder if you have a shop or something. Hmm. I wonder. But you know what? I do. Guys, click the link. Go bookmark my website. I do have paintings and lino prints. And soon, 
watercolor illustrations available. Bookmark it today. And if you're a subscriber, you do get an exclusive discount. Ain't no way. The thank you tooth. You plug it more than I do. <laughs> nah, like, I do plug a lot. The website, of course. But I don't want to be somebody who just shills all the time, I guess. Because, you know, everybody's shilling J Fuel, PC companies. But if it's your own company, then you can advertise and promote as much as you want on Twitch. Which is cool. Because they only care if you shill something that you're being paid to shill. But if it's your own company, they're like, go for it. No restrictions on that. Okay, very lightly doing lines for the brows. Would you like having your own physical location? For sure. I said this a lot, but one of my long-term goals is I want to have a gallery slash hybrid open studio slash museum or gallery because i legit have been thinking about this a lot because i obviously not going to say where i lit but there's a lot of areas in washington state that are very like art focused like if you're near seattle there's a lot of cities in that region um, that promote art heavily and you know i've been to some of those cities and they aren't successful in the sense of they don't get a lot of foot traffic in their galleries or shops or like little art print shops. And the reason why is because they don't do a lot of community driven things. You know, they just want people to walk in. A handful offer like paid art classes, but if they don't know who you are, they're not going to pay for a class. Nobody steal. But I think if I ever had a gallery slash open studio, what I would want, talk and work, talk and work. <laughs> what I would want is, okay, Mac has got curly textured hair, so I'm just gonna do tiny, I'll do a zoom out of this texture in a minute, like this. Like that, you can, go oh. Yeah, so that type of curly, coily texture. Um, I would have free community art activities being... I think it would be really fun to hire for weekly events. To hire a caricature, just pay them hourly out of pocket. And then have them do free caricatures for people. And then origami lessons because I think it'd be really cool to produce um, and print origami paper in-house. So origami lessons, caricatures, and then if somebody wants like a colored caricature, then they'd have to pay more. I would have like open studio so people can use a studio space, use supplies there, maybe charge like hourly rates to use that space. I would have live figure drawings, but not just nude models. I would have, like, dancers come in, just pay them an hourly rate. That way people can draw and learn. But those activities, some would be paid, some would be free. Because the main focus would be having clientele and walking people buy artwork or buy supplies. I did so bad with origami as a kid. I was decent at it. But I don't feel like I'd be good at it now because my finger mobility. But you know, origami is a good entry level to those who want to get into crafting. I'm kind of adding in more definition here. 
Because Mac kind of has like a Giga Chad face. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I would do if I ever had a physical location. Because nobody's going to walk in wanting to buy art. That's very select group of the population. And not many people have disposable income. But a lot of people have time. Because especially when a lot of sc public schools are cutting back funding for art-related programs, there needs to be more community activities that have art now. Do I have thoughts on replicas? Like, what do you mean? I technically produce only replicas for my artwork. I don't like prints, because then a computer is literally making your artwork. I think replicas are chill, because it'll be about the same quality as the original. Oh, like if somebody paints a replica of somebody else's work, but not forgery. <laughs> Okay, so like somebody taking inspo, but not making a direct copy. I think that still has value to it because there are individuals whose job is to restore paintings. So I think that's fine. Obviously, there's different copyright laws, so you can't necessarily just paint the Mona Lisa and say that you made the Mona Lisa. I think a very select audience would pay millions for a piece of work. I think the worst thing about the art injury, injury about the art industry is the amount of alleged money laundering that can occur. Because if you're an artist, as with any service-based industry, or you supply either a service or a product, you get to dictate the price. So if I wanted to sell this for like $10,000, I could. Some sucker might buy it. Because since you are determining your own rate and there's no like ratio in which you should charge. Like somebody can make the same thing or the same piece with the same supplies, but they can charge vastly different amounts because that's just their personal market rate. Right? And that's fine. But I think whenever people charge exorbitant, like exorb, I know the word, I can't say it, the excessive amount <laughs> For art, it kind of ruins people's opinion on it. That's why I think it's really stupid. Whenever individuals online would be like, $200 for that 4x4 painting? It's like, bitch, $200 is cheap. <laughs> Have you seen people charging like $500,000? That's why like, charge what you think your work is worth and just go from there. Somebody will pay it. If they want it that badly. NFTs be like, NFTs are so stupid. 
I am really glad that they've died off the past year or two. I made this line too harsh. Oh well. And some slight little wispies. Now I know Max hair isn't this like textured. But I think it looks cool. Once once it's like colored in, it won't be as noticeable, but Okay, now time for the face. Yeah, I think your curls are, like, medium coiled. They're not, like, too tight. In some of the pictures I've seen, they're kind of, they're mid-size. Okay, somebody got auto-modded. <laughs> Talking about art and exorbitant prices. If you're paying hundreds of dollars for a print, I'm sorry. You're a dumbass bitch. Getting any type of computer print made, even if it's like a six by four foot painting print, maybe costs the person to print it $20 maximum. So if you're paying $500 for a print, you are fucking stupid. I'm sorry, I'm saying it. Like, literally look up local prices for at, like, a print shop. You're getting scammed. Okay, prices for a print that big might range from, like, 20 to, like, $80, but still. You're paying such an insane markup for a print. $500, that's some expensive ink. The main cost for prints like that is, obviously, the size and material. But a print shop, they get ink for cheap. You're just paying for a labor, maybe the size of the actual canvas print you're getting. But otherwise, you a dumbass bitch. Okay, now time for the eyes.
<laughs> really convenient that it was a couple who were the top two gifters. <laughs> I mean, they asked if they could do a picture of them together, and I was like, sure, why not? I have no preference, really. If it was just a single picture, or one subject, then that's fine. You know, when I'm small, I gotta, like, glaze up the gifters, you know? I gotta have enough money to get by. <laughs> Not saying that I would do anything for those who monetarily support the channel, but you know what I mean. You're like their kid now? Ew, don't say that. <laughs> what? Mm hmm. Mm. Guys, today might be a subath on the rate I'm going at. This is the equivalent of drawing your parents in preschool for the drawing to be on the fridge. Hi, <laughs> Dio Mio. I can't find my eraser. That's why I got two. Hashtag not sponsored, but these are really good. Oh my god, I saw a TikTok and a YouTube short talking about this one store in Japan that sells just stationery and writing slash drawing supplies. And it's literally like a super mall that has like six to eight different stories and i want to go so bad they literally have a floor for every <laughs> i threw the paper they literally have a floor for every single supply it's like a floor for pens a floor for paper and journals etc i want to go so bad Okay, so this is the baseline art. No pencil. Looks pretty good. Okay. So now I'm going to get more fine line art details, and then we'll go to actual inking. I know Max's face looks kind of weird, but that's because it's not shaded. Yeah, I think the only other detail I want to add with pen Oh, I forgot to trace the Teddy Fresh text. Oh. Let's get the line box out after this. I kind of want to add the line details for the shirt. So just because you can see The texture of the fabric. So I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to do it very, very lightly, though.
very, very light texture. Going live on Labor Day? A crime? Honestly, it should be a blessing because I'm working on a holiday. Hi, Vic. Can we get some yos? Hello. Oh, wait, I should change my stream title. Is that a tier two in chat? Ain't no way. Hi, Vic. I'm gonna fill in the strap completely black. And this was a fanny pack down here. <laughs> okay, back to the line art. Should I put a speedrun timer on screen? Holy moly. I've considered, like, learning how to do, like, um, illustrations that primarily use line art or etching like this. Most of the illustrations that you'll see prior to a printing press or right along that time period were they prior to the time in which they could individually, like, print letters. It would be these massive block prints either made by carving linoleum slick so stamps or etching into metal plates and panels so a lot of the artwork is characterized by line art and i kind of want to learn how to do that But I'm also like, nah. I love history lessons, but <laughs> they're so bad, though. History was my worst subject in school because I just couldn't remember shit. <laughs> I know, like, one little tidbit fact, and then the rest out the window. You know what? Probably most of my history lessons are bullshit. <laughs> like, there's one true little fact, and then the rest is just like, I think this is right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I felt so sad. I checked out a bunch of books from the library about uh, stained glass and stuff three months ago. And my local libraries, they don't charge you late fees. And they also will automatically renew books whenever they're due. So, like, I wanted to see how long I could have the books for. But I, ha I had to return them last week. It had been three months because it auto-renewed. I think three times? Because it auto-renews for a month. And I was like, no, I want to keep them. <laughs> but they also, like, don't charge late fees because, you know, everybody here in Washington is woke. So, like, if I wanted to keep them forever, I could. But I, I think their policy is if you don't return it after six months, you have to buy it. No late fees, but you gotta pay like five bucks for a book or something. Which I would not do, because taking books from the library is bad. But I did think about it. I think I'll just buy those books on my own whenever I have money. And technically, it would count as a business expense.
Oh, also at the art gallery, I would have shelves upon shelves of art books that people can borrow. I've been wanting to find a book about Hanafura, which is a traditional Japanese like card game, inspired by like uh, Chinese card games as well. But there's no books. I couldn't find any books from like the national like book archive. I don't know what it's called, but it's like basically from most every historical book, there's like a national registry of either physical or digital books. That way we document history, right? And there was only like two books about Hanafura, but they're only available in New York. They counted my fanny pack as a personal item on the plane. Like, as your carry-on? That's so stupid. You know, I'll say it. Airlines have gone too far. Now, there's no texture on the collar of the shirt, and that's kind of bothering me. I was going to say what my favorite airline company is, but I'm not going to say. If they want me to say their name, they have to sponsor me. Imagine being sponsored by an airline company. Be like, guys, this is my tour of my business class suite. Present sponsored by so-and-so airlines. Wouldn't that be sick? No, no, no. I also swear... The prices on business class flights. Because if you're buying a business class flight. For like a business trip. Isn't that technically. A taxable like. Or report a, reporting on your business. Like expenses. Isn't that like a reportable expense. A lot of okay. The misconception is that whenever people like report things on their taxes. They get refunds for it. That's not how it works. It's just depending on what you're reporting, there's different credentials for like different tax breaks you can get. So you can get a partial refund for it, not a full refund. Okay, so the texture on the shirt is done. Cute. I fucked up on the fanny pack. I kind of want to texture Kim's side is really textured when like Mac's side is going to be very flat in comparison. I have to fix the lighter on Mac's lips. I fucked up. That's fine, that's a little bit better. Since I botched this line here, see how it's really thick? I'm just gonna fill in, not a solid black, but just about an almost solid black with lines. Cause usually the texture on straps like this is like a very tight, woven texture. It's not pure black. Because I don't think it's full polyester.
I'm going to go over it again with a number eight liner. <laughs> Guys, I went to art school. Okay. Only last piece of line art I'll have to do is getting the details on one of Max bag straps. What I put my Oh. I couldn't find my light box, but I found it. It looks great, thank you. I try. I know the drawing looks great so far, but you know what doesn't look great? My sub count, because guys, <laughs> we're two hours in the stream. It's been an hour and a half on this drawing. Do think it took that long to fucking trace? Anyway, so if you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for five ninety nine, just six dollars. And if it is September, so if you subscribe for the first time ever, you get a thirty percent discount. Or if you extend your subscription, you can claim that discount as well. I get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Now I'm just coloring the strap because it's a solid black.
No, I did not do the letter backwards. This picture is a selfie. That is also why some of the letters look not perfect, because I had to do it backwards. <laughs> I clipped on the Y. Oh, better. Thank God that part is supposed to be white. Because you can't really use India ink on top of the jelly roll pens. Okay, I'm going to add more details to the eyes. No longer soulless eyes. You guys both got nose rings. It's fucking gay. Okay, don't. <laughs> Thank God you guys can't title Eclipse. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you know what? Hate always comes from a place of jealousy. <laughs> I'm looking at this. And I kind of want to leave the background white. I'm debating. I'm thinking. Anyway, 
Let's get to coloring. So, here's the original picture, grayscale, and then here's a posterized. So, the reason why it's good to posterize pictures when you're learning how to draw in grayscale is it's so you can more easily see highlights and shadows. So obviously, anything that would be white is your highlight, where there's the most light, and darkest is where it will be your darkest shadow. So, you can see there's a highlight on the inner arm here, sub highlight, shadow, and then darkest cast shadow on the inner part. And then looking at the shadows underneath both of their necks, harshest shadow here, harshest, harshest shadow here, right under Max chin. And then regular shadow, regular shadow, slight highlight here on the collarbone. So I'm going to try. I think I'll keep the background white, white, and then make any highlights my second lightest gray. Or my lightest gray, sorry. And then we'll go from there. Because even if you guys aren't, like, fair-skinned, in grayscale, the highlights would look fair or lighter. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Actually inking. If you don't show feet. I'm zooming out so we can see more of the actual picture. Or I'll put it here. I love being white. <laughs> no, it's funny because, like, my dad, he's the Hispanic one, but he's very Caucasian. He's very fair skinned. That's why I'm kind of mid tone. <laughs> Okay, inking time. I'm gonna go grab my indie inks and then a little thing for water. Now I have India inks. Whenever you buy India inks, it'll come with just pure black or whatever pure color you get. But what I do is I will not that one. Is I will pre-mix different ratios of water to ink. So just to demonstrate my lightest gray. And I do have color swatch swatches on the outside. Is one drop of ink to 150 drops of water. One of my darkest is one drop of water to one drop of ink. So if you look at the bottles, they look the same. But whenever you actually start painting, these are the actual grays they will look. So if you're just learning how to use indie inks and you want to work in grayscale, I would highly recommend pre-mixing. That way you don't have to kind of color swatch every time you ink. And I've had these jars for years and years, probably four years now, and they haven't diluted in color. These are just cheapy little jars I got from Michaels. But as long as they're like tight, then they shouldn't leak. And this is my pure black. So all of these jars, there's probably about this much left in the jar. But that's because I've used this for other things. Yeah, I want to go grab some water. I just filled the jar with water. I don't want to get a whole like bin. Okay. So 
So just looking at our reference picture that has been posterized, we'll probably need the 1 to 150 for our lightest gray. Or oh, I grabbed the wrong one. This is the 1 to 150. We'll probably only need four grays. Probably our 1 to 20. For our regular shadows. Or maybe the 1 to 150. Probably these are the primary grays I'll be using, and then probably just pure black for any part that is pure black. So obviously things will look different grays on different paper. Because different types of paper will have different porous qualities. This is a cold press watercolor paper. It has a medium grain so there's like little pockets within the grooves of paper in which it will like hold water on the surface but it's also super absorbent so i'm gonna swatch my grays just so i can see what they look like before i actually put them on the paper and you should always do this whenever you're working with new paper I have done this before. I'm just demonstrating for today. Because it's been a while since I've done, like, a regular portrait like this. This is like baby lullaby music. Uh, type one if you're asleep. The picture is so cute. I know. Aren't they adorable? But hi, Kobobo. Can we get some yos? Hello. Oh, wait, Kobobo. Did you want a sketch card this month? If so, you can still send me a picture. I'll just have to draw it next month. That was a test. Anybody who typed one is now a confirmed liar. Now this is the Speedball Super Black India Ink. Yeah, look how much that pure ink just dyed my water. I love the black paint tea. Don't drink it. Do not put your water cups or don't make your water cups coffee cups. You're for sure going to drink from it like a dumbass. Just don't. These jars don't have a gasket. 
it's just pure metal on here. They're so hard to open. Or maybe I'm just weak. But guys, don't worry. I know how to self-defend myself. <laughs> self-defend myself. <laughs> I know self-defend. Self-defending yourself would be like you walk onto your own lawn and you just blast your own foot. Or you blast their neighbor's walls, because that's how a lot of accidental deaths occur. Because people think they have self-defense rights, and then they just blast it. someone accidentally, you know? It happens. I did that once. I had a drink, and I was painting. I will never do wine painting nights. Either host or attend one. Because if you're drunk and you're doing anything, it's not going to go well. Okay, so I swatched all my grays. Look at that. So even the 1 to 150, it's still a very, very light gray. It's kind of like a snowy gray. But what's really nice about this watercolor paper is that even when you put the inks on and you don't pull on water, it dries really opaque. Because there's different techniques to using India inks and watercolor. The main technique for India ink is you just put ink down and then you layer on top of each other. That way you can get more opaque shades of gray. But with watercolor, you can either do the method where you wait for it to dry and layer on top. Or you can brush on water and then you dip your brush into ink and then into the pools of water. That way it kind of creates a more of an ombre slash blendy look. But I like just layering on top of each other because I don't like waiting for shit to dry. So as you can see, these are really opaque. So if we look at our drawing, even if the highlights are white on the posterized version, these individuals are not white. <laughs> so we'll probably use the 1 to 50 ratio for the highlighted sections. 1 to 20 for the first cast shadow, 1 to 8 for the darker shadows, and 1 to 1 for any sections that are pure black. Because I want pure black in the drawing to be whatever I inked in with the micron liners. So... Okay, I got my four colors ready. Let's begin. Dude, this is gonna take all fucking day. And it's fine. Good thing we did this one first. I think if we did the sketch cards first and then the India, I'd be gassed. Not in the fun way. Anyway. So, I'm going to do... Highlights first, because obviously you want to work light first. But I think we'll do Kim's shirt, the lightest gray, the 1 to 150. Because her shirt is lighter than her skin. Ooh, there's a clump of ink on there. Good thing I caught that. Oh, it's because I didn't mix this shit. <laughs> I didn't shake it. Whenever you're pre-mixing, you do have to shake it. That way, any ink that settled at the bottom is shooken. But I forgot to do that smile. Ew, clumps. Guys, I'm a pro artist. I have a degree. Now nah, we're good. When working with India inks, you do have to work fast because similar to acrylics, they dry really quickly. Even when you're working on watercolor paper. 
Because if you want to do the method of pooling colors together, you'd have to put water down first and then gradually add your inks. As always, whenever you work with watercolor, you will always see the texture green. But when your color is dry, you don't notice it as much. I think that's why for the longest time I avoided watercolor because I hated the look of the green. But now I don't mind it as much. What people will often do to kind of hide the green texture is they will do watercolors first and then acrylic or color pencil on top. That way they intentionally can add more texture on top because watercolors will dry kind of flat, but they are fairly opaque. But if you intentionally shade with acrylic or color pencil on top, it does hide the grain a little bit better. Okay, I colored in the shirt. We'll add more gray on top of that to kind of mimic the shadows within the shirt. I'm just looking. I was debating if I wanted to color in the white bands on Max Jersey. Because I kind of want those to say pure white, but some of them do have a cast shadow. So I'll be doing the cast shadows in the 1 to 150 gray. But only some sections of the stripes have that shadow. Because the shadows on these white stripes of the jersey are from the actual folding of the clothes, not from like sunlight. That's why it's not a super dark shadow. Or that's why I'm not cho choosing a super dark gray. Now, as you guys know, whites of eyes are not entirely white. So just filling in the inner side, the outer edges of the eyes with the very light gray. I think I kind of want to wash. 
the entirety of the flesh tones with the lightest gray just so I have ink down. I'm going to paint on top of it, but I just want to layer more color or tones because it's black. Because when you layer India inks on top of each other, they do not blend. If you want to layer color, or sorry, blend color, you have to do it when it's wet. Once it's dry, it does not blend. It acts similar to acrylic, where you're just layering color on top. And what I've noticed when layering acrylic, the more you layer on top of it, on top of each other, it doesn't have as much grip, you could say. So you can work a little bit more loosely the more layers you put on top of each other. And that's why I think it's kind of beneficial to put this lattice gray down first. You'll notice it here, and I'll do a close-up in a second. The only issue when you try to layer India ink on top of each other is you will see the very obvious sections in which the colors overlap. That's why you kind of got to work quickly. It won't be as noticeable whenever I put the darker grays on top, so it's fine. You notice here. Because I did some of the shadow for like Max inner eye. But you can see right here how it's darker. That's because I layered the same color on top of it. So in order to avoid those kind of darker sections where there is overlap, you have to do a full wash of the same tone at the same time when it's still wet. But that's okay because um, I'm going to be putting darker colors on top of that anyway, so it's fine. Okay. I have all my lightest gray downs. On to the next. Oh, I got chic. India inks can be kind of unforgiving. That's why, like, if you want to learn how to blend properly when working with more liquid forms of mediums, start with watercolor. Because once you put watercolor down, you can always reactivate the pigment by adding water but with indie inks you cannot reactivate it once you put a color down it's there okay now we're gonna work on filling in the highlights with the 1 to 150 so anything that is white on the printer will be this medium gray So similar thing, to avoid this overlap, we're just going to do a whole wash. Is watercoloring easier on the hands? Like physically? I think it's about the same. You just have to make sure you get like utensils that fit your hands well, and if you need to wear gloves, wear gloves. I would have to say the things that is hardest on your hands is fine liners. Because when you're working with a brush, since the actual surface area in which you're placing material down is the width of your brush versus a fine liner, where it's like a millimeter. Usually when you're doing more finer details, you have to grip your utensils harder. So I would have to say, just today, gripping the brush feels so much better. Because <laughs> you can do wider movements versus a fine liner where... 
as more fine-tuned movement. I don't know, it's very hard to explain. But I do feel like I'm good at explaining. <laughs> okay, earlier I said I want my 1 to 150 to be my highlights. But if I'm just going to keep the background pure white, tone-wise, it kind of makes sense to have my 1 to 150 be the highlights. I think I'll do that. I'll try that and I'll see how it looks. So basically any part that's medium gray in the reference photo will be 1 to 150. So I'll try that first and we'll go from there. Because we're not necessarily going for like hyper realism here, so it's fine if some of the shadows aren't correct. You're just mainly going for like majority of the shapes being correct. Yeah, definitely making the 1 to 150 being a base tone is good. That was a good choice. Even adding one layer or one tonal change, it can add subtle and also dramatic definition. Okay, there's one like one highlight here. And India inks will dry darker than when wet. As with most any fucking paint. <laughs> the reason why colors will dry darker than when you're putting it down on your surface is because when things are wet, it obviously has water in it and water reflects more light. 
So when it dries, the water is evaporated. So there's less water to reflect, therefore less light, making it darker. A little bit of science for you. I don't know if that's legit, but that's my theory. <laughs> you know, it's so easy to make things sound factual if you sound confident, right? Did I trick you? No, but legit, I think that makes sense. Because water reflects light. So if there's no water, there's less substance in which light can be reflected from. I went to art school. And I do have a bachelor's of science hyphen graphic design. Okay, now I'm adding shadows for the shirt. You got me. <laughs> got him. I'm so gullible, like, I would believe most anything I see online. Thank goodness I'm not, like, a propagandist. Unless it's socialism. The last thing I'll say about socialism is that people love the policy, they just hate the optic optics. If you're anti, like, Medicare for all, or Medicaid for all, you're, like, genuinely stupid. I'm sorry, I'll say it. Because the whole point of having social safety nets is to provide for those who can't provide for themselves, either long or short term. And, to be frank, anybody can become unhoused, anybody can become disabled at any point in their lives due to either genetic factors, circumstance, or just like fucking unlucky. So if you're anti social safety nets, you're like, you probably just hate yourself. Anyway, that's my base take for the day. <laughs> if you're anti social safety net, you're stupid. <laughs> Think of it this way. If the government paid for, like, adequate senior living assistance, then you don't have to pay for your dumbass mom when they become old. Assisted living homes are expensive as fuck. It's so predatory, too. Yeah, this is coming along nicely. Okay, now for Mac, the shadows in Mac space are a lot harder. But that's okay. Everything's okay. If you go into something thinking you can't do it, then you for sure won't be able to do it. It's really funny. I was thinking about this. The way that, like, the shadows are in Max face, it looks like they have two black eyes. <laughs> like, they just got double whammied one day. <laughs> but that's just how the shadows are in this picture. Or it looks like they're getting ready for, like, their ghoul costume for Halloween. <laughs> okay, we should stop talking shit. <laughs> it's just how their face is shaved. It's fine.
It's how every New Yorker looks. <laughs> like they get into fights all the time. <laughs> no, I think it's because they're tired of the yelling. I'm walking here to Taurus. I'm walking here. I'm from New York. I really want to go to New York, but my sister does not want to go. She says she don't want to travel nowhere in the U.S., which honestly, based foreign countries are better for travel. Dude, what is this Halloween ass music? <laughs> Didn't Homegirl come to LA? Yeah, she went to Disney World or Disneyland. But she said she'd only go to Disney again if they had like limited edition merch or something. It's because my sister and I aren't like big on amusement parks or rides. And like, I technically can't ride rides anymore, so like, it's kind of pointless. You know, if I go to Disney, I'd be the one carrying everybody's bags, like a good friend. I promise, this looks dastardly on camera. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, it looks a lot better when it's, like, in focus. Okay, I'm not mad anymore. Once I add dark, more darker grays to Mac, it'll look better. Thank God Mac is sleeping. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna see this later, right? Uh-oh. I know everybody loves watching process videos, but I can't. As a creative, I hate watching process videos. I just want to see the end result. I think it's because, like, I know what the process should look like. But I can see the value as, like, a non-creative where you want to learn. But as a creative, I already know the process, so I already appreciate it. Like, I'm not dissing those who are watching right now, because uh, I understand that you guys are watching for the process. <laughs> but... I think I've come to learn, I don't like consuming what I create. Unless it's gaming content. I don't like consuming art content. It's because I'm like, I would just rather make it myself, you know what I mean? Tap one if you agree. Okay, this is looking very good. Now that we have two grays down. I'm a watcher, flush. Wait, maybe I should do more portraits like this. I actually love this a lot. Wait, maybe I should open commissions. This is fun. I think it's because I avoid work like this because I don't like when things don't look as I anticipate them to. But this is looking better than I thought. And I think it's because I traced a lot of it, I'll be honest. But like I said, the reason why I traced is because the focus is to get or to practice grays and gradients. And color tones. Because notice how when I traced, I did not trace the post ride lines. I just traced the outlines. Okay, now we're adding the 1 to 20. So our medium shadow tones. 
Now there's a few in Kim's eyes. Now I know this looks dark, but it's fine. It'll dry lighter. It's just how this ink is super saturated when it's in the jar. I'm also going to fill in the pupils with this color. This goes incredibly hard. I know. I'm loving it a lot. The reason why it looks dark when I'm putting it on, because this guy I put here under the chin and then right here on the inner eye, the reason why it looks super dark when it's wet is because we're layering multiple layers of gray. So it just look, that's just how it is when it's wet, when you're layering in this method. Wait, this looks so good. Okay, secondary shadows are done on Kim. Wait, the eyes look so good now. Who knew adding so many different tones could change the look? Who knew? Okay, now time for Mac. Yeah, this is coming out a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm, like, so excited. Because I, I haven't colored like this in a long time. The, the art pieces that are coming out this week are a mix of primarily watercolor and then some India ink, but not full grayscale. Because the, the art pieces coming out this week use more of the method where you put water down first and then you put 
pigment in the water. And that's how you get more of a clean, like, ombre -ish coloring. Okay, I'm adding darker shadows, even if it's not in the posterized version, it's just where shadows would be. You know, I do have an art degree, so I kind of know sometimes. Okay, Meg looks like they're frowning low key, but <laughs> it's fine. It's just how my render came out. You know, just happy little accidents. I need to add more 1 to 150 and max lips because I, I didn't color it in. I did the lips all highlight. That looks better. The reason why Mac shadows the Karsher is because they're the one in the direct sunlight in the picture. Because the light source is obviously the sun is from this way. Okay, I'm going to fill in the hair from Max with the 1 to 20 and then some of Kim's in that shade as well.
No, the we play enlist in the army music. Kim's is just about done. Primary thing that's left is filling in Max jersey. And similar to the reason why I filled in my lattice gray for flesh tone, I'm going to fill in the entirety of the jersey with this second darkest black. Or second darkest gray. Okay, I gotta work quickly because I'm filling in a larger space. You know what? Just based on how today has gone so far. Oh my god, it's th we're three hours into stream. It's been two and a half hours of this. Oh my god. Uh, guys, it's time for me to run an ad. Subscribe right now and you get a discount. If you're a new sub, ain't no way. I was gonna say, I'm down. We can do this every month. Top Gifter gets an Indie Ink. I'm totally down. In the past, I said no, but... I'm actually really enjoying it. Because <laughs> not going to lie, the sketch cards do get kind of boring. But that's because it's the same style for all the cards. Or the same medium, too. But the India ink is kind of fun. I'm not going to read that sentence out loud. I'm going to let that sit there.
I knew the next thing you're gonna type is snicker. Gotta lock in for this part. Clean. Okay, now time for our next darker gray, the one to eight. Now there are some shadows on the jersey. It didn't come out in the posterized version because I didn't choose enough grays. But the jersey is lighter than the black shirt underneath. 
so since I know for the rest of the posterized version it's just blacks, I'm gonna look at the actual photo ref now. Yeah, I'm like 80% done. Ooh. So basically, I need to fill in fanny pack some of the hair here, hair, here, here. Okay, I got it. Imagine I knock the jar over. <laughs> You know, I like to live on the edge, so I put the jar right by my art. Same thing when I paint. I like putting the jar super close. It's the only thing that gives me adrenaline nowadays. My life is too easy.
some parts will need to be touched up with white, though. For sure. I colored outside the lines a little bit. That was stubborn. It happens. <laughs> Very gently adding details on the pupils. And I did not re dip my brush in the ink because it would be too liquidy. I'm using the very remnants that are left in the brush. Damn. I meant damn in a good way. I'm not solid filling in the strap of the fanny pack. I'm just quickly laying down strokes. So when it dries, it'll have like somewhat of a texture instead of a solid fill to it. This is four plus four. Oh, like this eight, right? I know the slang. I'm technically a zoomer. Begrudgingly. Nice. Since I did a solid wash of the gray here, I'm gonna do swiggles. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. <laughs> 
I don't know if you, can, if you got that, but I, like, I did an insane stroke outside the line. Hee hee. Hee hee. I just gotta fill in the sleeves. And I got one more gray to go. And just to be transparent, I'm going very slow today. If I were to do this offline, it would take half the amount of time. But that's just how it is when you're filming. God damn. Oh, okay. I noticed I didn't color in her ear. You can tell, like, even from this distance, it's really white. It's because I missed it. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now The one to one. My darkest black. Besides pure black. But I think pure black is too much. There's a bubble. You can't see it, but I don't want to pop it. What? Okay. Because when you pop the bubble, it splatters, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow.
came if you're in chat. Instead of a white border, since the background is white, what if I did the border black? That way, if you did ever get this framed, if you had a slightly bigger offset, you could have the black border inside the frame. I think a black border would be cute too. And then if you want to write something here, you can do like gel pen. Oh wait, maybe I should sign it. Because <laughs> it's standard to have like borders on your paintings. And then you put your watermark signature in the border. But I don't do that because I don't like signing my shit on the front. Okay, so Max clothing is done. I want to add some dark, dark gray to their hair. I think I'll leave Kim's hair as is. Because I think her hair is lighter than Max. Same thing, just squigglies. I'm just not realizing I still have two sketch cards to do after this. <laughs> I'll be fine though. <laughs> Guys, it's a subathon. Now the sketch cards will be quicker. Because my hands feel fine, surprisingly. I thought they'd be more sore by now. But I think it's because the brush. I don't have to, like, grip as hard. You want to take a break? I might take a little snack break. Because it is almost my lunchtime. Or maybe I'll take a lunch break. Maybe we'll watch, like, a little YouTube video. Okay. I'm stretching. Let's get a close-up. This looks pretty fucking good. My god. Tracing is fun. I did make the shadow on Kim's in her mouth too dark. It was not too noticeable. I mean, it's fine. Wait, this music sounds creepy. This compilation is called Nintendo Music Mix for Sleeping Beautifully or Relaxing Wonderfully. This is not relaxing. I skipped it. I don't know why it's so loud. It's the comp. Okay. Let's see. I don't think I need to add more grace. I think it's cool. I think it's chill. I think I just need to paint the border. And then touch up with the white marker in some parts. Yeah, for sure, border and black. If I mess up, oh well. Wait, clean.
I'm using the smaller brush still because I kind of want a texture of brush strokes in this in the border. Because I don't want the border to be fully opaque. Now, I don't want to jinx this, but I haven't gotten any ink on my clothes, surprisingly. Earlier, the reason why it took so long to turn my light on is because I forgot I was wearing white shorts. <laughs> now, getting blank on a tan tank top ain't too bad. But white or black on white shorts, oh. I think even worse would be getting white on black shorts. <laughs> Tee -hee. Don't be too loud. Yeah, true, my sister is sleeping. Oh yeah, black border goes crazy. Because then it kind of looks like it's in a frame already. If there were more darker tones, then I would have done a black background. But since it's mostly light tones, that's why I did white background. Did she get the day off? She may or may not have to work tonight. I will not confirm nor deny. It's because... For her place of work, if you work at nighttime, it technically counts as the next day shift. So let's say, for example, she works a Friday night, it technically counts as a Saturday shift. Fuck. Border's crooked. Fuck. That's fine, that's fine. I dragged my finger on this paper, so it made my line crooked. It's fine. You don't. You won't notice it. See, it's straight. It's fine. Good thing you didn't buy this, right? <laughs> we hate that. I know it's so confusing. Cause she'll get her schedule, but for some reason they don't say the time that she ends. So it'll say like six, and sometimes they don't indicate if it's a morning or night shift. Like it's so fucking confusing, <laughs> and like. They know that she, like, is on the spectrum. So I was telling her, I was like, you need to tell them to, like, make your schedule more clear. Because I don't want you to go to work and then find out that it's the wrong time. She should go to HR for that. True. I mean, she does work with a... They have a very strong union, so... I'm confused just hearing that, dude. I know. <laughs> but it's kind of like... She, my sister and I are both the type to, like, not rock the boat. Unless, like, something obviously very violating is happening 
So, you know, a little bit of workers' rights violation is whatever. <laughs> but, <laughs> which, obviously, don't listen to that advice. Like, if you feel something that is making you uncomfortable or is making your work experience more difficult and it could be avoided, please say something. You know, it'd be different if, you know, Peace and had a job and if they, like, illegally retaliated by, like, firing her or cutting her hours, we'd be fine, but that's not an option. Like, it sucks that, like, more laws protect companies, but it's just, fuck how it is, you know? It's just how it is. No, the border's intentionally not straight. It's called texture. And also, it's a lot harder to get straight lines with ink than paintings. Or actual paint that has body to it. Because when you work with paint, you're basically pressing and pushing the liquid paint material around. But when you're working with ink, you're just placing. So once you put it down, you can't move it, basically. I think that's why a lot of people start with paint. Because you can afford to be a bit less precise with it. It's a lot more forgiving. Doesn't mean it's easier. I think when you work with paint, you have to have a lot more intent behind your method in the sense of it's a lot more noticeable when you are working with a medium that is more common and also easier to get higher quality renderings versus ink. It's near impossible to have as many different tones and shades as you can with graphite or paint. So it's like, quote unquote, more acceptable to have not super rendered images. And that's just how I see it. Like if I see somebody coloring with marker versus somebody coloring with graphite, I'm going to be a lot more critical of the rendering and graphite. Because the capability with graphite renderings is a lot more... Someone can be a lot more advanced with graphite than they can with marker. This Dennis looks like a photo. God damn. I'm going to go rinse my brush and we're going to let this dry and then we'll do close-ups. Okay, I think it's done.
Like I said, the border is intentionally patchy. Oh, wait, I have to do... There's still some pencil lines. Also, the reason why I did micron liner initially... There's a speckle. Fuck. There's a speckle. <laughs> okay. Dude. I'm lightly covering it with white, not pure opaque white, but just to cover that speckle. Dude, how'd that even happen? Oh, that's frustrating. Anyway, the reason why I did the liner in Micron instead of India ink is because when you do eraser on top of India ink, it will still pick up pigment. So, if you're doing India inks and you want to have a solid black outline, do it in fine liner pens. And if you don't want to have liner art, do um your lightest gray wash over your pencil um well since i got a speckle there is now a s dude there's now a splotch right outside the shoulder uh, just pretend it's not there damn this was almost perfect, by the way. I'm re-outlining the earrings in white. And then, of course, the shine in the eye. And then touching up some of the parts here. What do you mean it is perfect? Thank you. So kind. Whenever you are doing the any like acrylic marker or these jelly roll gel pens on top of India ink, you have to be careful to not push too hard. Because when you push too hard, similar issue to the eraser, you move the pigment off of the paper. So you just have to lightly draw on top of it with your white. Ever so lightly. You know, I see a lot of videos online about, like, how to draw, but not many videos about how to use the material or use the utensil. I kind of want to add a slight highlight on the lips. There we go. Oh, yeah, Mac had earrings, too. Yeah, I think officially this is done. Damn. The whites in the eyes add so much. I'm really proud of this, not even gonna lie. That took three hours, holy shit. I'm just marring. You know, there's a lot of things I could have done better. But this is still pretty good for not having done a grayscale piece in a while. 
Just to clarify, Twitch Def Mag is not being hateful. They're talking about themselves. <laughs> I think I need to mix one more gray that's in between my 1 to 50 and then 1 to 20. I need one more gray. Because the tonal shift between the first shadow and then the cast shadow is too dark, I think. But there we have it once again. Thank you to those who gifted during the subathon, and thank you to Kim for being the top gifter during that event. Kept the stream alive. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this portrait of you and your partner. There we go. Now, let's get some more close ups. That's my sister. <laughs> what? What? In terms of critique, I think the shading on Kim's face is better. I definitely did too dark here on the inner lip. I think Mac's eyes came out better in terms of shading. I like the texture of the lines on Kim's shirt, but I think the shadows here are too dark in comparison. It could have been a better gradient there. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Yeah, so Kim, I'll be able to mail this out to you this week. W. What do you want me to write on the back? Cute picture of two siblings? <laughs> What should I write in the back? I'll write it now. Oh, wait, I gotta stamp it! Surely the stamp won't ruin it. Write that? No, I'm not. That's gonna be so embarrassing. You know, this is official piece in art. You know, every single piece in artwork past summer 2024 will have this stamp. Now you know it's legit. You know, it's very easy to forge a signature, but a lot harder to forge a stamp. Imagine I did it upside down. There we go. Also, the stamps don't come out well on the watercolor paper. It pisses me off, but there we go. The stamp is there. A little bit crooked, but it's quirky. Okay. There we go. What should I write? Should I write Omega Dance? <laughs> I'm going to put September. 2024 India ink on watercolor paper. Hmm. I'm just gonna put thank you, smile, keep it simple. Here we go. I'll also send you a picture of it too, Kim. Hopefully this doesn't get lost in the mail. Imagine! Dude, that would be so sad. <laughs> that is like my nightmare. I know it eventually will happen. Because shit gets lost in the mail all the time. I should sue. <laughs> I mean, that's why whenever you mail anything of value, just take the L and pay the $2 insurance when you ship stuff. I ship with USPS for both package and mail items. 
and they offer a hundred dollar insurance included now i haven't had to use that yet but i hope they won't cause any pushback if i do need that insurance smile that is not a threat i'm i'm just Twitch to him. Look at that swatch. I'm putting this in here. I have another swatch, but I lost it, so. That's another reason why I re-swatched it today. <laughs> okay. Ugh, I'm stretching. That took three and a half hours. Uh, what do you guys think about doing uh, Indian portraits every month? Thoughts? I'd be down. Oh. Almost showed feet. What? How about for every single month we still do five gifted equals sketch card, but then whoever's the top gets an India ink portrait. I fuck with it. Is that what that stands for? Wait, you just made me swear. Okay, which sketch card should I do first? I'll do Max first. That'll be easy. Flashbang! <laughs> I'm not reading that, Mac. <laughs> or what if instead of top gifter, we do whoever donates the most between bits and subscriptions? Because the bit a thon is coming up. We'll just do total monetary amount. Okay, I'm locked in. One, two, three. One, two. Oh shit, it's crooked. <laughs> uh, let's just say it's proportions. Oh, that's so bad! Yeah, I gotta get a new card. I, I'm I don't stand behind that one. You know what? I'll trace the good side and then I'll flip it. I'm so smart.
Oh, I flipped the other one. Yeah, okay, I'm so smart. Oh, much better. Okay, to compare. Old? That side's so crooked. Correct. Clean! You know, in the real world, in the real world, there's no, like, flip tool. Now this one obviously is going to look more cartoony.
Hey guys, you know what time it is. We're four hours into stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. So if you want to avoid the ad, subscribe right now. Get boomed. I kind of made their hair, like, swirly. I'm done tracing, so I should not draw on the board. Right now I'm intentionally making some lines thicker. I'll turn my other light on. I'm a Chad user. This kind of looks like a stamp. All these varying line widths. I kind of like it.
Now they have these Minecraft glasses, which I don't approve of. I should wait to color in if I'm doing color pencil later. I'm debating if I want to add blush lines. I think instead of doing the dashes, I'll do little ovals. I wish I would have not done the face line, then I would have had it extend out further to the left. Because you can't really cover it up. Or no. I can probably color in just that part with the acrylic pen. I'll do that. You know, why not just color this whole thing with acrylic marker? Fuck it.
Look, doing acrylic markers. More of a limited palette, but I'm feeling pastels. <laughs> okay. No, I don't use these often. So I haven't activated like half these colors. Okay, here we go. Now the fun part about acrylic markers. Super opaque, can't really blend. They can scratch up your paper a little bit, but they're so fun. The only demerit is that you can't get super fine lines or details with them sometimes. Just due to the nature of the tip. Yep. This looks a lot darker on camera, don't worry.
Only thing I don't like about acrylics or acrylic markers is very hard to get a fully opaque coverage. Or not opaque, sorry. Consistent, because the pens are so scratchy. You can see, like, small white lines, so that'll have to be touch up later. Acrylics are good if you don't want a super clean look, if you want something more messy. Okay, yeah, this pink is not opaque. This pink isn't opaque, so I'm gonna have to layer white and then pink. It's so annoying. Filling this strap in because it's a lot easier to draw with acrylic on top of micron versus acrylic on top of acrylic.
<laughs> that one is ready to go. Clean. Okay, this gray is basically black. Gonna make this shirt silver because that's the only gray I have. But at least it looks cool and futuristic. Look at the hollow. Bam.
The blush is still drying, unfortunately, so I can't draw on top of it yet. Too much ink came out. It's okay. It's fine. Background? 90s. So stars and swirls. I think I'll do purple stars. Oh no. Dude. It's so saddening. How did I not think to wipe that up? Dude, it's all over my pens. It'll be fine once it's dried, but that's still annoying. I just realized my stream was frozen. Probably just for you, man. Looks good on my end. What happened? This is your card. <laughs> I'm doing that. <laughs> okay, Kim, don't say that. Don't, Twitch staff might not like that guy. <laughs> Okay, don't say that. Guys, you can't make jokes like that. You can't make jokes like that. Twitch staff does not like jokes like that. We only peace I to punch here. We don't fight. Ay, <laughs> Dios mío. No flirting in the chat unless it's confirmed you're dating. I deal with you. I can't leave you guys alone for five seconds. This is why I can't do art full time on stream. I don't know what you guys do when I'm not looking. It's like when you're babysitting and you sit down for five minutes to look at your phone and the kid has somehow like stuck their head between the spokes of the fence. <laughs> okay, now we do the background. I don't know nothing about dogs. The only thing I can give advice on is relationships. Guys, ask away. What's my credentials, you ask? Single for six years by choice. Ayo. Wait, has it really been six years? Bro. It has. Oh my god.
<laughs> Advice don't. Wait, that's so real. Okay, the cheeks are still drawing somehow. I wish I drew in a speech bubble. That's a radical. <laughs> I think it'd be funny. clean I'm almost done with this <clears throat> Dude, I'm so weak. Got it. This is like carpet you would see on an arcade floor. All it needs is dark blue. Dark blue, yellow, orange, and then maybe a touch of red. Then it would be every single arcade floor in America. You know, I didn't have a plan for this card, but I don't hate it.
One more detail and then this is done. I'm such a chat, it's crazy. Isn't like the butt chin a genetic like oddity in the sense of that it's more rare? There we go. I know this one is kind of quick and I was limited to the colors of the acrylics. But you know, I feel like Mac has gotten a card in most every single style I've done. Like none of Mac's cards look the same. But there we go. Next card. I speed ran that because I'm tired. Okay. I'm tired. <sighs> Kim, I have a proposition. <laughs> I have a proposition if you're in chat. What? Because Kim's card, the concept. They sent me a picture of her sitting on a fountain. And it dead ass looks like this fountain from Animal Crossing. This is the drawing I made. Now, I know Animal Crossing is do it yourself, build it yourself. What if I give you the card and it's line art and then you color it? This is a piece in first. I will wait for your response. <laughs> no, it's not a scam. This is a proposition. Because I did say I want to make coloring pages, so I'm practicing my line art with this proposition. <laughs> She's scamming? No! <laughs> I like it. Do you agree to said proposition? I'll take it. Okay. Because then you can color it. But I'll make the line art really, really, really good. But I'm not realizing it will be hard to color. No, this is, uh, this is not the card. This is the sketch. I won't send this. This is a copy. Okay. You'll have to get some fine tipped markers. And then when you color it, you can show it to all your friends. And be like, oh my god, my favorite streamer piece in drew this for me when I colored it. Wow. Because lining it will take me like 20 minutes, and that's totally doable. Because I'll be honest, I did not think the ink portrait would take me three fucking hours. That was not in my itinerary. Okay. I Dennis thought the India ink would take max two hours. But I think it's because I wanted it to look as true to the picture as I could versus more illustrative. Because obviously when you do stuff that's more illustrative, you can take a bit more liberty and freedom. And if there are mistakes, it's fine. But whenever you do realism, your mistakes are far more noticeable. Yeah, let's get to inking.
Also, guys, if you're new here, click follow. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Where's my number three? Oh, okay. Going in with my number three liner. As always, my favorite. The liner on the glasses is kind of thick. But as we know, we like it thick. Hey, yo. I'm going to have to go in with the 0.5 liner for the facial details. Now the water will have a broken liner to it. Or the, yeah, the water.
If I stream coloring this, then it's a collaboration. Yeah, you can leech off my cloud, of course. Mm hmm. <laughs> You know, I knew you were a leech. No, I'm kidding. That was my goal all along. Well, you spent so much money investing in my channel. That's like not how you're supposed to leech clout off of. Clout leeching 101. Tag and post. Clout tip number two. Get in their DMs. Clout, or, clout tip number three. Smash. And that's how you become a famous streamer, guys. Like and subscribe for more. Okay, now for the hard part. Or I'll do the trees first. I don't want to do the fountain yet. Because the fountain has to have clean lines. This is what I got so far. And I think it's cool because I'm, I'm using the same pen, right? But I'm, get, I'm getting different widths and textures. Like doing the broken line on the water, I think, I think it looks really pretty. I'm locking in.
you. Oh my god, we're five hours into stream. I have to run an ad. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. It's September, guys. Click subscribe right now. now for the fountain I'm rotating it this way because my hand more naturally moves in this curvature versus this way where I'd have to move my wrist that's why I'm rotating it to the left because with a smooth line like this a non-natural line it's easier if you move your wrist in the way that best correlates with your it's it's best to do your line in a way that correlates with the actual movement of your extremities so your hand your elbow etc whenever you're trying to do a non-natural so a straight line Okay, now you gotta do it perfect. <sighs> not me saying I should not move against my wrist, but I did. Nah. Only for that first stroke since it wasn't a long one. Just making sure it lines up correctly. I think this card has been hardest on my wrist. Or not my wrist, my, my left elbow. It's because when I draw, I have my right hand here, right? That's my elbow. And then my... I have my left hand here holding the paper. So then I have to like overextend my left elbow. I'll say it, line art is harder than painting. Game locked in.
Okay, I think I'm done tracing for now. Next step will be finer line details. And then it's done. I want Super Mario Brothers Wii so bad, but they go for like 60 bucks. Maybe next Wii week when I have money and get famous. I want it so bad though. I also want to get the red Wii, but I already have a Wii. And I wouldn't even be able to use that Wii for stream. Because in order to capture a Wii gameplay without like changing the hardware on your console, you need to play on the Wii U. So getting another Wii would be stupid, but I want it. So bad. Womp womp. Okay, so this is the main line art. This is all done with the number three micron liner. As you can see, there's like varying line widths. I did try some tapering in some sections. But now I'm going to go in with a either number 1 or 005 to get even finer details in some sections. Yeah, I'm going to go in with a number 005. This is as zoomed as I can get, y'all. I'm so tiny. I know this is going to be a pain in ass, a pain in the ass to color. You're going to need like a fine tip marker just to color. Hashtag not sponsored, but get some dual tip pens. Brush tip and fine point. Why not? Now, a little fun detail. Whenever Kim sends me DMs, she knows I won't answer. She always does the colon three. Hmm. Wait, are Animal Crossing noses... Wait, are they right side up or... Like the triangle. I'm looking it up. It's right side up, okay. <laughs> okay. I think primary details I'm going to add is wood grain, some more texture on the bush leaves, and then maybe the details on the dress, because it was a floral dress. Okay, I'll do the trees first, because that's the easiest. Now I'm using the number five liner, but I'm pressing very lightly, so that way the texture isn't too overwhelming. Or too distracting, I think is a better word. Not overwhelming.
cute. Oh wait, Kim, what what fruit do you want on the tree? That's why I left him blank. What fruit do you want? Okay, I'm not going to draw every leaf because I think that would make it too dark. I'm just going to add some, like, lines for leaves. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, just to give a little bit more texture. Because if I drew every single leaf, it would look too dark. Cause see how the the trunks on the tree stand out a lot because it's the most filled in. Apples? Okay, we'll do apple. I'm glad you were here for this live, that way you could give input. You know, I'm working on a holiday. I should get overtime pay, huh? I cleaned my whole apartment? Wait, that's huge. Good job. Oh, I was going to say this earlier, but I, like, cut myself off. Whenever I say I'm taking a rest day, that just means I'm catching up on household things. Like laundry, cooking. Because on days where I stream, it's hard for me to do anything else. So it's either I do things like right before stream or like right when I wake up. Because y'all don't realize it. Streaming is a real job. Okay, so it's just like basic ass apples. controversial i've never liked apples it's kind of like why i don't like veggies i don't like a something that's crispy and juicy the only thing that's good like that is chicken Have I tried all the colors? Yeah, in school. They would have either green apples or red apples. I think my favorite apple, though, is Honeycrisp. Wait, Washington State is literally known for apples. <laughs> Eastern Washington is filled with orchards. I, threw, I drove through one time. It's beautiful, but there's, like, fucking nothing in Eastern Washington. I don't think I could ever live in a rural area. I would lose my mind. Okay, I'm now realizing the apples <laughs> look just like oranges would. <laughs> I gotta give the apples more of a butt. Mm. 
Now, there's, like, literally nothing to do in eastern Washington. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. It's just some of the nature is pretty. Otherwise, there's no, like, recreation or, uh, like, touristy things. I guess they have, like, vineyard tours. But we don't... There's not much grape production here. I think Washington is the leading producer in the States for apples, pears, blueberries, I think I read. I wrote them all down. But we have a lot of orchards. That's because our soil is so nice because when Mount St. Helens blew, like, all the ash made really good soil. And also, since the, the West was where everybody was trying to go during, like, the Oregon Trail times. That's when all the agricultural people immigrated here. So there was a lot of plantations, uh-oh, of, like, orchards, hop fields, all types of stuff. Okay, I don't think... I did say I want to add a design to the dress, but I kind of don't want to. I feel like it's too small to add the detail because it was like a floral print dress. And I think if you try to draw that in, it would make it look too black. I think it's good. My favorite part, the top section of the fountain. It looks really good. I think it's done, honestly. I don't think there's any other details I can add without making a section too dark. I kind of want to add clouds, but there's not enough space above the horizon line. I should have made the horizon line lower. I think it's good. I, I'm calling it. It's done. Guys? And there we have it. Those were everything for the month of August. Let's review. Thank you to those who followed during the month of August. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream during that time. Feel free to screenshot if you see your name. But thank you to the 10 who followed and stayed followed. Thank you. We'll do calligraphy in a second. And then we had first ever semi-realism ink portrait on stream from the top gift for the subathon, which was computer. They wanted a picture of themselves and their partner. Honestly, this looks crazy. I'm really happy with it, honestly. And you know what? From this point on, Top gifter or top monetary donation. So if they donate, I do take cash up smile. Top person who donates the most cash up bits or subs will get an ink portrait. I'm down. Because this was honestly a lot of fun. And I know for me, I hate doing things I'm bad at. But seeing this, this looks pretty fucking good. Yeah, there's some hiccups, but oh well. Did you say cash up? Yeah, it's in my bio smile it's because i don't want to take uh paypal donations because i could make a business account but in order to do that you need to like actually have a business number and then i don't want to do personal donations through paypal because then people can find my number or not my number my email 
and that's lame. Okay, so we had the ink portrait, and then we had two sketch cards. For Mac and Kim, once again, thank you for letting me do line art. First card with just acrylic marker. The silver goes crazy. And then ammo crossing. I did not plan to do this. And I will not do this for every card I get, but I just thought it was fitting because the fountain. Nice, cute. So these will be mailed out later this week. Uh, Kim, please resend me your mailing address and remind Mac as well. Just because I don't want to scroll. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> but resend me your mailing addresses. Okay, this one is still wet. How is this still wet? Well, this one's going to take... I have to let things dry for a few days anyway, so... But yeah. Dude, I can't stop looking at this. This came out so good. Damn. Okay. Calligraphy time, guys. Use your channel points or subscribe and I'll write your name. Thank you, of course. Thank you for letting me draw you. I know it takes a lot of bravery at times to show your picture online. Even if I only got like three average viewers, that's still three people. So thank you for being willing to show your picture. Now, my sister did order me a new journal, but it's not in the mail yet, so I only have space for one name. And we had two subscriptions today. So I'm only going to write one name. But the moment I get the journal, we'll write the other name. So we're doing them in order. We'll do, because it was Mac and then Ryan. Yeah, I'm going to save the next name for the next journal, because I don't want to write it again. And I'm tired. Clean. What time is it? Four o'clock. Hmm. I kind of want to get Wendy's. <laughs> I've been debating. Wait, did you guys hear? You can order 50 nuggets online. And it costs 10 bucks. Isn't that crazy? Or in my area, it was 10 bucks. Fifty for ten dollars, yeah. Cause I went in a couple weeks ago and I was like, "Can I get a twenty piece?" And they were like, "Yeah, it's it'll be ten bucks." I was like, "Okay," cause they just rung it up as two tens. But shit, I could have gotten fifty for ten dollars. Yeah, I'm debating, but it's only if you order online. If you order through the app, you can't order it any other way. But fifty. <laughs> I'm crazy. I do want to do a stream. Wait, wait, wait. The theme of September is Shape Up September. What if I... Wait. Because I, I still want to do the stream where I eat celery. Because you know the fallacy of celery gives you negative calories. Because it takes more energy to chew it than to digest it or some shit. I still want to do the stream where I just eat celery. Like, I weigh myself before and after. Like, it's something stupid. Wait. I think that would be really fucking funny to eat 100 nuggets in one sitting. I don't know if I could do it. Because eating 20, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Wait, wasn't that a YouTube challenge like five years ago? Eating 100 McDonald's nuggets. But right now we hate McDonald's. 
I think that would be so funny. Like, <laughs> immediately? <laughs> Wait. Immediately, whenever I stop doing the Shape Up September streams, I eat a hundred nuggets. <laughs> Wait, I love that. I'll do that. A <laughs> hundred would be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I know. But wait, I kind of want to do that now. <laughs> like, guys, fuck fitness, we're having nuggets. Wait, that's actually so... Okay, fuck it, I'm doing it. The moment Shape Up September is over, so mid to late September, 100 nuggets in one sitting. Subathon. Wait, subathon, but every sub is one chicken nugget. <laughs> no, that would be horrible. That would be horrible. 100 bit for one nugget? See, that type of stream would be fun for a channel my size now, because I don't get many donations. But imagine, like, Amaranth doing that stream. It, she would eat, like, a million nuggets. N not a million. Probably, like, a thousand nuggets. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing that shit. I'll, I'll, I think I'll still commit to 100 Wendy's nuggets. In one sitting, whatever shape up September is in. I think that concept is funny. Because I know I still have the sub goal stream of chicken nugget mashed potato volcano. But like, what's the concept to that? Like, it's just you're making, you're making food. There's no other hook. Because anytime I'm doing like a just chatting or a planned stream, there's always some type of hook or premise. And I learned that from Ludwig. Because when he was evaluating people's YouTube channels. Now this one hit home. Because he was evaluating a channel where the guy, he was like streaming on Twitch for three years. Uh oh. Uploading to YouTube occasionally, like once every one to two weeks of stream highlights for like two years. And he was like, yeah, if you're not seeing success or if your two videos aren't, like, getting traction or views, then maybe you should quit after the three-year mark. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, is that me? Because uh, Ludwig was watching some of the guy's videos. And he was like, yeah, these are just, like, normal, like, gameplay videos. He's like, there's nothing happening in the video. He's like, there's nothing for me to look forward to. There's nothing for me to, like, there's no payoff for me clicking on the video. And I was like... Oh, that makes so much sense. That's why in the past, like, six months, every single just chatting stream or, like, planned gaming stream I do has a premise. Because if you're going to edit shit for YouTube, people don't want to watch casual gameplay anymore unless they like you already. But if you want to get new viewers, you have to do something. And that resonated with me so much. And also, I don't want Ludwig to look at my channel and for him to tell me to quit. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to quit. But let's be honest, three years is a long ass time. I've said this many, many times, but if you're a bozo who streams for like 10 years and you have zero viewers, I'm sorry, it's you. I'm sorry. But like, uh, I'm not successful by any means. Technically, in the top 1%, if you're an affiliate, then you're in the top 1%. But, you know, no matter what stream I do, there's always one person watching, one person chatting. And that's a lot already. So I'm going to enjoy it while I have it. And try to make the most of it while I can. <laughs> Do we have anybody else who wants their name written redeemed now? Oh wait, computer, you have the ER now. I forgot. I'm gonna have a kid so it can mod for you. <laughs> Why would I exclusively want to mod, mod a child? <laughs> I don't have any 
many mods now? Besides stream elements, the stream lads, they're my best friends. No, I'll see it. I think auto mod would mod far better than any human would. Like, if I didn't have auto mod and just a human, they would miss so much shit just because they're not paying attention. You know, Twitch mods, they don't look at the screen the entire time. It's because they're not being paid. If I was a, what, if I was a one candy, I would pay somebody to mod. I'd be like, here's 500 bucks a month. Watch every stream. Easy. Okay. Automod gets me every time. As it should. As it should. Wait, should I still get Wendy's today? <laughs> I'm debating so. I can't. I'm debating. Okay, not me talking about Wendy's, and then I get a push notification for 7-Eleven. I swear they're listening to me. You did a lot today? I did. I streamed for two hours longer than I thought I would. I'm also really annoyed because my auto renew for Photoshop went through, and it's been a year. And they change prices every year. So I looked at my bank, and I was like, what the fuck? Why are they charging me an extra $5? It's because now, instead of... Um, damn, it still didn't go through. Instead of um, $55, I get charged $59. So I was like, what? I look at my statements, and apparently last year when I signed up, I got a discounted plan. So I got auto-renewed for the standard price, which is $59. So I was like, shit. So I looked again, and they're like, hey, peace, and just for you, you can subscribe for $44 a month if you cancel and renew with this new plan. And I was like, shit, fuck it, I'll do that. So I did that. But they still haven't refunded my charge for fifty or $65 because it's 59 and then tax. So <laughs> it accidentally overdrafted my debit card. So... So now I can't buy shit until my credit card. I can use it again. How many business days has it been? Uh, three. Or no, because I renewed it on Friday. So technically none. Because Saturday, Sunday, and now holiday. So I'm waiting for it to go through so I can use my debit card. <laughs> so, because like, it didn't overdraft my card. I just can't. Because, because... It didn't cancel it or it didn't refund the initial 65 it still charged me for the new 45 charge yeah i gotta give it another day or two but it's still annoying because now i can't use that card anyway enough you happened guys i'm done thank you all for watching any chatter circles i made fun today uh, like I said, if you had artwork drawn on stream today, please make sure to resend me your mailing address. And it will be sent out to you this week, whenever they're fully dried. So probably Wednesday. I will go from there. Once again, thank you to those who supported me during the month of August. All those who subscribed, gifted subs, and shared bits. Thank you all. And thank you to those who followed. Uh, what's the plan for this week? I'm not going to stream tomorrow. If I do stream tomorrow, it'll be like a sub-only stream, and that depends on if my therapy goes well. <laughs> so, we'll see. But yeah, I think next time you see me... Let me look at a calendar. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's just like... It's like the onboarding visit. So, like, they just ask you, like, hey, Pisa, what do you want to work on? And then I trauma dump, and they're like, okay, this is what program you need this time. Let's see. Yeah, I think next time you see me, if it's not a sub only stream, we'll start Shape Up September. So fitness games until the 14th or 15th, when we'll do the Cycle bit -thon. And then after the Cycle bit -thon, I think... I want to do seven or a week's worth of Wii Fit. So every day we do Wii Fit. 
and then that'll be a YouTube video. But keep in mind, for streams between the the 4th to the 14th, I will not be streaming every day, because I don't think it would be good for me to, like, do uh, potentially strenuous exercise every day. Because I still cycle most every day, but I don't, like, work out every day. So, let's see, 4th to the 14th, that's 10 days. Yeah, so we'll probably get, like, 5 streams of, like, fitness games. But yeah, that's the plan. Plain and simple, boys. Let me actually... You guys want to leak what games I have? I can check. Well, some are downloaded on my Switch, so I can't look at it now. But one of them is Sean White Snowboarding Road Trip Target Limited Edition. <laughs> we Bounce Board Compatible. Majority are Wii games. Jillian Michaels Fitness Ultimatum 2009. Wii Fit Board compatible. Wii uh, Nintendo Switch Ring Fit Adventure. And then a few like mario tennis games and then i'd be down to do uh the wii sports resort basketball stream i think that counts as fitness because that's moving but we could do wii switch sports or nintendo switch sports again but yeah those are the majority of the fitness games i have i also wanted to get the miku one the rhythm boxing one but i feel like all the songs would be copyrighted yeah, so that, that's a little sneak peek of what's in the upcoming streams. Like I said, we'll do like five or six streams of fitness games. Cycle, sub, slash, bidathon. And then after that, we'll do Wii Fit for an entire week. Yeah, so that'll be most of September. Yeah. We'll see if I lose weight. Which, hopefully. I'm two pounds away from my yearly goal. W. Okay, enough stalling. I'll see you guys probably Wednesday. But enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you guys have a good one. Okay, bye bye. Almost six hours. This is like a part time job. Bye, Kim. Thanks for hanging out today. Okay, let's play the outro song. Any last words? Also, no raid.
Wait, Squeaks is live! Bye, guys. <laughs> but seriously, thank you guys for watching, and thank you for your patience with me.